<laughs> hey Lola's. Hey, hey, hey. Let me see. I'm just trying to see what's in the interview prep. I'm just waking up. So anyway, guys, welcome to my channel. Um, for those that have been around, you guys know I'm Miss Rindy Smith, and this is my channel where I display my passion for my hobby. Um, if you are not subscribed, go ahead and click that red subscribe button and make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Um, a lot goes on on my channel. It goes from one extreme to the next. Um, if you stick around long enough, you will see that. Um, there's no one particular way that I do things here. Um, I'm going to brush his hair a little bit. I haven't did that in a while while I talk to you guys. Um, and I want to show you guys something I did. Um, first of all, let me give a shout out to uh, Herlanda Hubert, um, who used to be Pooh Bear 253 channel, um, for adding something else to my new interest, um, which is the... Well, I tell you what, you guys can go check it out. She was talking about other things that she collect outside of, you know, the dolls. And so now she got me on the prowl for one of her, the items that she liked. But I, I will let you guys watch her video. Um, speaking of shout outs and um, sisterhood in the community. Um... As you guys may know, I don't really do a whole lot of shout outs, so to speak, on my channel. I do, you know, acknowledge people. Um, I do try to support people who support me, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I can't do the tit for tat. Um, I'll be honest with you. You know, some people may watch my videos all the time, may comment on my videos all the time, but. I've been in this community for about six years. Um, I've been on YouTube for, I think, almost five years. And I've acquired a lot of channels that I follow. And not just in the doll world, I actually follow like a whole different community. And um, <laughs> the community is like totally opposite of this community and people probably wouldn't even believe that I follow that community, but I do. Um, so I follow a lot of channels. I follow a lot of different people, a lot of different, you know, things. Um, I show support. I'm actually even there's one channel in particular that I've kind of grown fond of and what she stands for and what she speaks on because it speaks to me. Um, I'm actually considering becoming a patron of her channel. Um, I won't mention her name because she's not in the doll world. But... Um, yeah, so I, you know, when you're, you're in the community for a long time and like say when you first knew, you know, you build, pers you, you, you're trying to build your, your circle, so to speak. Um, you're wanting to have people to share your, your, your views with, share your, um, dolls with, show your collection of whatever it is that you are fascinated by and in the mix because nobody really really wants to do videos and only have one person watching or two people watching so you know a lot of people are like oh i don't you know care about this and that i mean you may not care like some people to the stream to where you um will um lose your integrity and your morals to try to gain views or you know your go against your beliefs and all that stuff just to get views but you know you do want people to watch your channel i mean come on let's be real otherwise why do it um so you you know you you interact with people and when you're new you you know you might have one perspective of a person and then you know as you go along and you start to see not just what they say but what they do it changes and then if you you know have really good experiences at first you know you kind of start to feel like oh mostly everybody's gonna be good like that 
And then if you've had bad experiences, then you begin to feel like, oh my God, you become more guarded and, and you know, more cautious and paranoid of stuff. Um, I've actually kind of blown off some people that might have been really good friends because of my past uh, experiences in the community and I, I think it's kind of, it's unfair to the per the person but you know it it is what it is now <laughs> t-shirt now um there has been times where like you get this I've gotten this gut instinct oh gosh I'm trying to get him where you guys can still see him about people and then I try to give them a chance and then they show me who they are and it's like gosh I wish I would have just followed my first mind um people change you know a lot of a lot of us we we start out as collectors and we start painting and stuff like that and some people don't know how to handle that they don't know how to you know grow without trying to you you can't Put your growth on fast track by trying to damage somebody else's image or who they are. For instance, let me give you an example. Um, you're just a collector, so you love everybody's work. You love the art. You know, you you mostly only have positive, you know, vibes. And then the moment that you become painting or become an artist or whatever, all of a sudden. You know, you're trying to discredit other people work or make them look bad, I guess. So it makes you look good. But that's like building a house on sand. Um, if you build a house on sand, it's going to fall. Um, you know, just like fake friendships. You know, if you're you're in it because you guys are fighting the same fight or you guys share a common interest of, you know, someone you don't like. And you're just being that person friend. You really don't like that person as a person. Their personality is like someone you wouldn't vibe with. Someone you wouldn't hang out with. Or someone you wouldn't bring to your house necessarily. So to speak. Um, but because they don't like somebody that you don't like. You try to vibe with them. You know. And you. You know. You become allies. But you call yourself friends. But really all you are are allies. Um, and because you guys are fighting for the same thing. Um, that don't last either. Because once the fight is over, those fair weather friends, fake friends are gone. But when you're new to this community, I think that sometimes it's good to just sit back and watch people. You know, you know, I've had a lot of times where I've been accused of a lot of things, such as, you know, trying to be a know-it-all or... You know, downing somebody or being conceited or thinking, and I, not a lot of times, but a few people, you know, oh, you know, I think I'm better than, or I'm bragging on my collection, et cetera, et cetera. Now, I will admit, um, like I said before, it was brought to my attention that I have made statements like, oh, this baby is only like $7,000. That is really good. Or, oh my God, it's only $4,000. Like, that is a little bit of money. I made comments like that. And it's kind of like some people like, only, you know. So it might have came across like, I just got money and $4,000 is like, girl, what? It's nothing. But I didn't realize that until somebody... One of my friends in the community, you know, I would like to hope that she's a friend. <laughs> but um, anyway, she checked me on it and was like, girl, y'all be saying like blah, 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 blah. And I was like, oh, my God, I never thought about it that way. So I kind of, you know, went back and watched what I said, you know, try to, you know, I came back and I told, I think I told everybody. And, you know, apologize if I, if it seemed like, because trust me, I don't have the money like that. Um... But the same people that will, like, shame you or, you know, speak against you and say all the things that you're doing that they don't like, as soon as they have the first opportunity to do it, they're doing all those same things. And all the people that was cheering for them in the beginning, thinking, oh, they're just an underdog, they're this, they're that, they start to see 
people for who they really are. And, you know, it's always interesting to see that unfold. But I've learned and I'm working on this every day to just focus on what I enjoy and the parts that I like about this hobby and all that I don't. I'm leaving it where it is. Um, I know I do the court TV thing, but um, it's kind of entertainment for me, but it is you know can be educational in some cases like people don't realize the different scams that's going on and you know the different things that that happens like when you have a case you know for instance like with paypal you can't cancel a claim and go back to a claim if a person marked the doll as a custom you know you can't you know win anything so you know it used to be layaway but look like they are honoring you know lay away a little bit more now but the the big thing is customs you know as soon as somebody say customs and you know that's a lot of people run and go get these customs and you know they don't know that so little things like that that come out in the court cases you know you might find as educational but I you know I found it I guess now like there there's been a quite a quite a bit of things that's been eye-opening to me over the past few weeks that people that kind of be in my inbox have done that's been kind of sideways or whatever I've noticed it I've you know I'm aware of it but I haven't really reacted to it because over time you become numb you become numb to people you know doing you know shady stuff or you know sideways trying to hurt you or harm you you know, and um, you become, like I said, you become very um, immune to it. And it, after a while, it just become numb. It's like, oh, well, I kind of expected that. But anyway, guys. Oh, by the way, this is Puck Santana by Lillian Breville. He's a full body silicone baby. And he has a little bit of KY on his lips. That's why I keep rubbing his lips. But um, I wanted to tell you guys what I thought that I found out this morning I just checked it out <laughs> but um I like there's been a while since I, I've been looking for these really plain diapers however I've bought two packs of diapers which probably cost me about 30 bucks each I mean not each but combined which I'm not proud of but they're still not the ones that I was looking for there's like a vintage look all plain solid color diaper that I have <clears throat> like one in my collection somebody sent it in a box opening and I've been looking for that same type of diaper forever and I can't find it so I ordered these online and one is the pure protection and I showed you this by Pampers but I'm going to show you again and I got really you know I was really excited because it is you know it, it does have the girly prints but you know it's you know it's soft and I saw the little line down it and everything and I think when I originally I'm I don't know my search was different or something and these popped up and they looked like you know they were mostly plain but they they again have the line going down them as well so I said you know what what if that's a like the indicator line of when they're wet so this morning I didn't want to bring them in here because, girl, I just try to put them under the sink and ran water in them and close them together. And the line turned. Now, the Pampers, is the line just get darker yellow. But the, no, I'm sorry. This one gets just darker yellow. Um, and, but the Pampers actually turn green. Or blue or something it turns a whole nother color so when they're wet so I was going to show this to you guys and share this with you guys that these are great for everybody that have the drinking wet now my little Charles have drinking wet but he's so my he's so tiny I don't know if they even have them in that size micro premium I doubt but um but these will be great for everybody that have drinking wet babies or you know expecting drinking wet babies to use 
you know, because since now YouTube is so sensitive to, you know, certain things like showing the body parts and stuff like that. So we can't see them peeing, but you could feed them and then show the line, change colors. I don't know. So I thought I would share that with you guys because I know my friends have drinking my babies. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video because I try not to do the super long videos. Um, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks, guys, for watching. And don't forget, now don't forget to click that thumbs up. Bye.